Hello everybody and welcome back to another episode on the new save file. We are jumping in once again. It's the wrong save file. There you go. Uh, I want to go as Tainted Azazel this time, I guess. Um, yeah, we unlocked Tainted Azazel, right? We did Tainted Napoleon previously. Yeah, let's play Tainted Azazel. We unlocked him a long time ago and I completely forgot. I am the biggest of gooses. Um, but yeah, let's just jump into a run and see how we go. So the question of the day, what's your largest misconception that you had about a game for a long time? What's what's like a piece of information that you just had entirely incorrect in your head for a long time? Also, this run fucking slaps. I already love this. I'm not quite sure what this version of him does. Um, I think it's just split up into tiers by the looks of it. But yeah, I, I, I'm, I'm already in love with this. Don't end me now. <gasps> oh, does this work with lasers? Because if it does, this is the best run I've ever done, ever. It fucking does. Oh my god, this is the best start to a run I've ever experienced. <laughs> Not ever, but this is, this is like, fun-wise, in terms of enjoyment, this is an absolutely amazing start to a run. I am... In absolute glee. Look at look at this. This is this is some absolutely beautiful shenanigans that we're seeing right now. To the highest degree. My goodness. My goodness, I love this. Probably should have pushed it the other way, to be honest, try and get a secret room, but it's fine. We will get a um thingy from this guy. Oh god, don't get hit. Thank you. I should probably try and um do yeah, there you go. Try and bash him a little bit with a little bit of extra damage. Good. And give me that soul heart. Ball of bandages is obviously not what I was looking for, but this run already slaps harder than the hardest man that could ever slap. Have you seen those like Russian slapping competitions they do? This run slaps more than that. That's how much this run slaps. Like, look how much AoE we have. We can hit anything in the room. Just, just by, like, looking at it. Um, I'm gonna take Curse of the Tower here, mainly for the fact that I would like to get the item from the Tainted Treasure Room version of this. That would be truly lovely. Also, another thing I've got to say, um, t Jacob's Ladder is super, super, super good when you have the ability to, like, shoot over rocks, because it triggers the electricity zaps on top of the rocks. So this is even better. This is just all-round great. I'm not I'm not even going to take that pill, because it could be bad times for everyone involved. Let's just try and never get hit, and we'll, we'll, we'll be forever fine. I'm going to be forever fine. I'm, I'm in such a good mood right now. Like... I've, I've, I've been just thoroughly enjoying Isaac more after having watched um, Dark Viper play. I think it's just reinvigorated my enjoyment in the game, watching someone play it for the first time, because it's just been so long. Um, I'm just like, I feel like I'm re-experiencing some things, and this has just put me in such a good mood. This is such a fun run already. Did that pot just give me... What the hell just happened? That pot just gave me two nickels, and I got an eternal heart. There's some shenanigans going down right now. I will uh, check this out, and I will 100% bomb both of these to get some money. I realize I'm at really good donation money, so I shouldn't be bombing it right now. But I really like card reading. Um, it's very, very good. And it puts us a little hat on our head, which is cute. It makes our character look oh so lovely. Oh so very lovely. Let's try and do our angel deal here, shall we? Oh, that was a very, very bad hit by me there. Thank God I killed everything. Uh, yeah, let's try and do Angel Deal and do um, Mega Sin. That would be a very good idea. And let's actually remember to do it this time, because my brain, it's very bad, you see. Very bad. I often forget what to do and how to do it. Uh, we don't have a key right now, so I'm going to go for Treasure Room, just in case. Guppy's Pride is a guppy item, so not bad. Um, and stacking um, levels of familiars is not bad either, so... Next thing we need, I think, is Fire Rate Increase. Um, a Fire Rate is pretty trash right now, especially for the later levels here. Yeah, we got a key anyways here. A little bit of a waste there. Probably should have gone secret room and just hoped for a key drop, but you never know how you're going to get screwed with keys, so I wanted to I wanted to not take that risk. 
I know I'm not really using the uh, the pushback ability that this guy has, but right now I'm. Oh, that that was that was mighty upsetting. There did not mean for that to happen. Troll bomb killed one of you. Nice. I, can't, I, I I always forget that Brain Worm is as good as it is, like that it works with beams and stuff. It's just off. Oh, so nice. My Brimstone Laser bending to nature's will. Don't know how I didn't get hit there, but I'll accept it. Yeah, I'm not really using the sneeze all that much, but honestly, I don't think we need to. Also, we're on a wet floor right now, so our electric zaps further, which is a very nice benefit to us. Always like that little bit of bonus action going on for us here. I was just about to say I'm going to get hit here, but somehow I survived. Did both of you decided to go in the exact same place there? My goodness. My goodness. There's some... Damn good stuff going on right now. I mean, we did get a uh, pageant boy, which isn't particularly great, but it meant we've got enough more money now for another uh, floor. Also, what what is this guy? That guy's new. He's a new-looking champion. Uh, extra keys. I don't think we really need right now. This is the time where we use a sneeze. You can't just tell a pills, dude. And I. Oh. That was close. We got a world card here. I'm just going to pop it for the secret room. I realize it's a little bit of a waste, but I'm, I want to keep the full card on me right now. I'm going to I'm gonna check this out. It feels like the sort of run where Magic Mush could uh, could be lying in waits for us. Unfortunately not. we got to try these things, though. feels like the sort of run where something... Something big is going to come around the corner soon because everything's going our way right now. This this angel deal that we could potentially get here could be huge. We've got bombs ready for the angel as well, which is, of course, very, very good. We'll check out our shop here. Try and get something oh so beautiful. Uh, honestly, that is the role of film. Considering it's cheap is good, but it's just a genuinely really useful thing anyways. If you get low on HP, having that um, less damage taken, super, super nice. Really, really useful. Okay, just be careful here because this shot's going to explode soon. I think this shot's bugged, you know, because sometimes it hovers in the air for ages like that. And other times it gets exploded really quickly. I think it's something to do with, like, the little dude on top of his head shooting. Sometimes he just doesn't. I'm not sure if it's a bug or not, but it kind of feels like it is. I might be wrong. I think I'm going to look for second secret room in here. Good. Damn it. I, I swear we unlocked the um the the tainted rocks and they're just not showing up. I haven't seen one in a really long time. That would have been a very good little red item there for us. But sadly not. I will most certainly put a bomb on you because you Ah oh, I goddamn hate this guy. It's okay, though. He's not terrible. He's just very, very annoying. This is the attack I really don't like. I'm just very bad at dodging it. But it seems we're in the clear, pretty much. Okay, we're good. Very good item. Um, And that's another pretty good item. Although, actually, setting our damage to 7 um, isn't actually great, because it's going to be a very minor damage up here. But... It's a damage up still. <laughs> it's not exactly what I'm looking for, I guess, but it's something. Haha, -ha, I don't need to be in line with you, you little fool. I can bend it like Beckham. Oh, you bastard. You had to, didn't you? There you go. First key piece has been gribbity grabbed. We keep on going. Yeah, a little bit annoying that that angel item was a bit trash there, but eh, it is what it is. We'll go straight for the secret room here. Oh. Overheal again from heart pickups will be left on the ground for later use. It's kind of good. Um, 
But yeah, unfortunately, there ain't no way I'm changing this trinket out, even if trickle charge is really good. There ain't no way, no how. Like, we have a build right now where we basically just decimate entire populations of enemies by simply looking their way. It's it's quite beautiful. I'm trying to think of what's like the next item that could be really good. Like I said, a fire rate up would be hugely appreciated. Um, but I think like the next sort of item would be somehow firing more lasers. Give me a 2020 or something along li along the lines of that. I think that would be super saucy. The fact that Brainworm like if it kills a target, it then switches to another, like that look. It just makes it even better. Also, just our pickup gains so far have been so good. Check this out again. A lot of money, but sadly, no item. You're not spawning those buddies. Don't think so, my lord. Just a hell of a lot of money. I can get behind that. Right. Okay, got a use for our full card now. Wheel of Fortune, I'll at least pop to see what we get. I was hoping for a fortune telling machine because getting the uh, crystal ball would be pretty nice right about now. I'll accept my fate. Beautiful. Beautiful. <clears throat> Just stand at the door and fire. That's kind of good. I'd like that. Uh, I'll check this out. Three room rerolls all pickups and trinkets on the entire floor. I'll wait on that for now. I mean, I'm happy for the speed increase, but otherwise not particularly great. Otherwise, not particularly great. Right, if there's anything in any of these that we're not pleased with, make sure we leave them on the floor. God damn, we're getting a lot of trinkets going on right now. A lot of trinkets. I don't know why I didn't use my full card there. That was kind of the entire point, right? I'll take the key. Right, let's just go and do the reroll, and then we'll check everything on the floor. Well, not everything, but I'll check everything over this side of the map. I'm not going to obsess. Got a key there. This trinket has become a troll bomb. How generous, game. Uh, my two trinkets in my secret room have become a bomb and a heart. My... Uh, chest and that lot have become just a chest. And these pennies have become a... A... It was all worth it. Increases the chance for energy cards to spawn. Mm, that's kind of interesting. Oh, come on now. Don't be like that. Eh, wasn't super useful, but there you go. Right, so many trinkets. Wow. Kind of wish we had the smelter right now. That would be pretty amazing. Although we would have needed a lot of charges to suck up all of those. Right. Take care of the boss. It is a fat boy. You can easily sneeze on him, so why not? Why didn't I fire there? God damn it. E easy kill. No angel deal. More damage up there and a luck increase as well. Okay, things are just, yeah, absolutely popping off. Based on literally two items and, like, basically two items alone. Obviously, the damage ups are helping, but... <gasps> oh, 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 baby. Pocket Bible, Fortune Grub, Tonsil, and Shattered Soul. Um, The Shattered Soul one doesn't seem to have appeared. I've got Pocket Bible, Fortune... Oh, wait, isn't this Fortune one kind of bad for us? Aren't we going to get Fortunes, like, all over our screen constantly? Um, Tonsil is what it, whatever... Uh, Pocket Bible is all, mum, like, mum-related bosses start on half HP. And yeah, I don't know what the, the Shattered Soul one I got was, but it's not appeared. Which is slightly concerning. But yeah, am I going to get Fortunes appearing now, or is that only if I fired shots? Wiggle Worm. But yeah, very, very trinkety run right now. 
A very trinkety run. Really? I have so much money, you absolute cock. God damn it, now I have so, so much money. This is silly. Ooh, although. Although. You get an orbital that blocks shots and displays uh, an active item. Items displayed on the orbital will be used when you use your active item. Activate your active. You're using an active gain from the eye. Have the same amount of charges. It sounds interesting when we get an active, I guess. Please don't use all my money for this. That is not the same as what was in there. I mean, I, I don't mind Little Brim. I certainly don't, but... I swear these machines, 25% chance to be a liar. Screw you. Okay, so playing machines obviously is something to do with our trinket here. Oh, we've already been in there. Waste of a bomb. I mean, I guess we should take this for free bombs. There's no reason really not to. But yeah, now we've got Little Brim as well to help us out. Although, I don't think Little Brim adheres to, uh, adheres to our fella. Cracked Infamy, I believe it has been fixed. I'm going to gamble on that it's been fixed. Because last time I did Boss Rush and it made me hate myself. Apparently, it has been sorted now, so my faith in it might have been restored. We'll find out. We got a token here. Um, I'm going to leave that token there for now and see if we can get something better out of that. Right, we're looking for our item room here. Try to be reasonably speedy as to, uh, as to make sure we make a boss rush. Hill. I don't know what I'd want to use Turkin on, to be honest. Extra key, we definitely need that. God damn, I love this run. Bad times. Oh, I used the iframes to get in there and open that. Still, yet another trinket though, so not super useful. Hello, what are you? Rainbow poop there as well in case we wanted that. Don't want that. Savage heart for a bit of a damage up for a short amount of time. We finally made it over to the item room here. Honestly, Sad Onion, we've been needing the tears up. Yeah, I'll take it. Don't know what that thing is there. Right. Zoom on through. And honestly, we're doing pretty well for time, to be honest, so shouldn't be too bad. I'm going to play this machine again a little more, wherever it is. Crane games are still one of my favorite unlocks in the game. Don't be a dick. You're a dick. You're an absolute dick. I should just blow it up, but not even worth that. Luckily, this guy is a very easy boss for us. Anything segmented gets kind of destroyed. Angel deal, hopefully? Yeah, yeah. I'll leave that HP there for now, just in case. I think I just want the tears up, to be honest. Oh, we do get one of these hearts as well. Nice. I didn't even think about that. One of these uh, immortal hearts, I think they're called. We got our full pieces stitched together. Lovely. We'll just take the HP up as well. And we'll head on down. And I'm really hoping we can make Boss Rush here. Because this is certainly a run that can achieve Boss Rush pretty easily. Treasure Room. Very good Nightshade there. I like that. I haven't had Nightshade in ages, actually. But yeah, Nightshade gives us a nice orbital sweep for protection. Also fires some homing shots. Very, very nice. If whenever we get kills, I think, or whenever we hit enemies, we spawn... Uh, 
little wisps. But the wisps protect you, which is, in my opinion, by far the strongest thing about the item. The fact that the wisps actually protect you from damage. Or at least they did. They might, they might not anymore, but I think they do. I do see that there. Yeah, it's good for clearing up little enemies like that as well. Ooh, um, I should at least open this. I would like to open the Eternal Chest there, but looks like that's not going to be a plausibility for us. My god, cleared that whole room in one fell swoop there. Oh shit, I did not realise you were firing an explosive there, my guy. I was not privy to that information. Luckily, my heart has been restored. I'm really hoping um, I don't need to go all the way up to that room up near the uh, cash room over there, because that would be a, r a real big bummer. Good, we've got another key there I should probably grab. 17 minutes, 3 minutes to go. We should be fine at this rate. Especially considering most rooms are only a few seconds. I missed that token on the last floor, but I don't have anything to use it with anyways, so it's kind of fine. Sadly, you're not worthwhile either. I think we're just ready to go on this floor. You're on half HP already, so you are going to die very quickly. Thank you, Pocket Bible. Very cool trinket. Very specific, but I like it nonetheless. We, of course, will grab this. No deal. Boss rush. Oh, yes. Give me that crackling slag. Oh, I don't know why it's firing triple like that. Is it because of the hearts that I have? Because like, I have that immoral heart? I really don't know. Oh, also, it just dealt damage to me. That is slightly annoying, but I've had that bug before. But the fire can sometimes deal damage to you. Yeah, I'm not quite sure why I'm firing white fires, but I'll certainly accept it. I think it's because I've got this heart, you know. It feels like it might be. That's the only thing white I have in my possession. Unless it's from the, the Bible Tracks, whatever it's called. Not Bible Tracks, you know, the one that gave me the actual heart in the first place. Or maybe because of the sevens? I genuinely have no real idea. But this is a good build. I really need to be utilizing my uh, my Brimstone's Curse more often. Because that does vastly increase the damage I'm doing. And it's very, very easy for me to... To pop it. Yeah, whatever it is that's making me fire all these fires, I fucking love it. It's just like triple fires all the time. I will grab that as well. Yeah, so we're not doing, like, a ton of damage right now. But it's enough. It's most certainly enough. Whoa. You do, you do a brimstone now. Interesting. Oh, gosh. Okay, good. May oh, maybe, maybe they're white because of Jacob's Ladder, actually. That would make sense, because it does make my brimstone beam kind of a whitish, bluish colour. It's definitely more blue than white, but that would that would be my, my, my best guess. I like the way that fire does so much damage to him, even though his entire deal is I'm on fire. I love it when you uh, do the brimstone sneeze on enemies like that and it just boops them away. Also, another great thing about um, Boss Rush here is we're constantly refreshing the amount of Wisps we have, so we constantly have that protection. Which I very much appreciate. You chilling, bud? Ah, there's a fucking Bernie over here. I didn't realize he was there. Love the rework of this guy, by the way. Makes this guy a much cooler boss. Lovely. I don't have flight, so don't be step stepping in that creep. 
Really, I should be using this more often, because it's just free extra damage, but it's, it's kind of hard to properly utilize. Oh, uh, wait, what? <laughs> oh, right. I was like, why didn't you come up the other side of the screen? But he got damaged enough after started flying to not uh, be able to continue flying. It was very confusing. Right, oh, for God's sake. This bloody guy. Oh, there's a Tinted Rock here. Hello. And it has one of these chests in it. Which has... Arrow Walk. Hell yes. I will most certainly take Arrow Walk and be very, very happy about it. Thank you for being dead, finally. Probably only got like two or three more waves left, right? Thank you for getting Brimstone's Curse in the sky. It makes him a lot easier. Yeah, Arrow Walk for the Hush fight, or maybe even the Mega Satan fight. Probably the Hush fight. You see. But you can see these Wisps protecting me here. Destroying shots left, right, and center. The Joker. Wait, what? That must be a different Joker, right? <laughs> I definitely have the regular Joker unlocked already, right? <laughs> That'd be strange if I didn't. Anyways, let's continue on with this amazing run. Oh, if there isn't anything more satisfying than just skipping the entirety of Womb. That's something I've got to just be super, super happy about. Sensor is decent. No reason to fight you now, is there? No. Right. Down we go. That is, oh, music to my ears. Ah, this time I didn't get so lucky. Little bit of a shit. I'll try and skip some rooms at least, though. Go this way. Yeah, I'm loving the amount of fires we're firing. Also, what are the, like the little, the little greenish, bluish sort of fires that are coming out of enemies' positions and seemingly random positions? I don't know what they are. But they are also welcome. Beautiful. Oh, we've only got three keys actually. Let's not, uh, not spend any on that door. I'd very much like more, actually. There you go, game. Ask and you shall receive, apparently. Rotten Heart, you know what? Why not? Why the heck not? Round worms to go along with this as well. I've like hardly been hit this entire run. It's been beautiful. Keys? Darn you. That's a key. I'm fairly sure we're going the right way in some capacity here. I knew that was going to happen. We were going to hit the goddamn wrong way the moment I said that, but it's the risky run. Is the risky room when saying things. I got the. I did not realize you could get the matchstick from the uh, the TNT from this item. Interesting. Definitely need to get in there for a sneeze. Beautiful. I wonder if Little Brim does any extra damage with that curse. That Brimstone's curse thing. Unfortunately, we got five keys here, which isn't quite enough. But it's enough to at least get the item rooms. With the amount of money. I was going to say the amount of money I have. Oh, wait. We get one for free. Awesome. Um, Axolotl, I think, is better here. Um...
I think Bozo is better. Unfortunately, not not too not too good stuff here. Was there a key for sale, maybe? No. Wait, what? Brainworm's golden now? When did Brainworm become golden? Oh, when I picked up um, the golden flakes, of course. I don't know if that does much, but... Right, I'm not... I was going to use Arrow Walk here, but I, I don't actually think I need to. If I really start struggling, then I will return to it. By the way, my character just looks absolutely ridiculous right now. We've got like a wooden mask with a clown face painted on it look. It's kind of amazing. But yeah, the sensor's going to slow down all the shots. Unfortunately, slowing down shots no longer is quite the powerhouse it used to be. If you didn't know, they changed how it works. So as before, slow down, uh, this, this is with, re with Repentance uh, when they changed it. Slow down used to actually um, reduce the speed at which the tiers moved like, like it does now. But the tiers were only set to be in the air for a specific amount of time, which meant that the tiers would travel nowhere near as far if they were slowing down. Whereas now, it slows the tiers speed, but it does not reduce the duration that they're in the air. Um, so... Now they still fly their entire path. They just do it much slower, which actually on Hush can create a pretty big issue because it means that a lot more tiers can be on screen than was initially intended. And it can create some very, very difficult, unskippable damage situations, which makes the sensor kind of bad in some regard. Um, but in a lot of ways, it's still a really good item, so I still use it. I still pick it up. It's only really the Hush fight that it... Uh, becomes a big problem on. And the Mega Satan fight as well on certain attacks, it can be pretty bad too. We're going to be error walking him anyway, so everything's going to be slowed down. Unfortunately, this is going very slowly. I was really expecting this to be a much faster process. And it's just kind of not... It's like not super, super slow, but it's not fast. Like, it'd be nice to get in there and do a, do an old sneeze on him, but goddamn, look at this minefield of crap. Also, it doesn't help that my uh, brainworm seems to think that these uh, random flies are a higher priority than the boss himself. Dude, right when I went to sneeze on you, you just move away. You could hit, you could hit me. There you go, got him. See, these are the situations where it's bad. Like, look, look at this. This is just so much stacked on screen right now. Right. It's okay, though. We got this under control. Okay, this attack I don't really know how to feel about. a lot of shots around me right now, but I don't feel like I'm going to be able to easily dodge. No, these don't go over me anymore. Great. I was like, these will just go over my head, won't they? No. No, they won't. Oh my goodness. I still don't know why, it's, why the molten thing is firing triple. can't believe I didn't get hit there. Dude, stop going underground. What have I told you about this? Absolutely foolish behavior. You're a coward. Absolute coward. I lost my moral heart. So all of us, Hazel. We got it. Right, up we go. 
This run has been absolutely slamming. Ooh, we also get Tool as well. Tool isn't bad at all. Enemies of the same type take damage at the same time. Can be very, very helpful in a lot of rooms. A lot of rooms tend to use a lot of the same types of enemies. Why am I unable to kill anything in this room? Okay, there you go. Okay, unfortunately, we are very, very key poor right now. Which, for the next floor, does not bird well. So, there you go. On two already. Do I stick around on this floor and try and get some more keys? I think so. I'm, I'm chopping through enemies like they're fucking butter to a hot knife. So... It's not exactly like I'm having trouble. And there you go, look. We only need one more now. Definitely not. Come on, one more juicy key is all I need. Which sounds like I'm talking about cocaine now, but I promise you I'm not. I'll be honest. I think you can tell I don't do cocaine because I don't think anyone has ever called it a juicy key. I don't think anyone's re ever referred to cocaine as juicy, to be honest. I know a key is a type of measurement. I don't know if it's specific to cocaine, but it's definitely used for cocaine. Why am I talking about this? Who knows? How did that sneeze not hit him? Come on now, game. You've got to be serious. Oh my god. The amount of tears on screen right now is too damn high. There we go, we're sneezing him finally. God damn, the amount of Guppy's heads we managed to occur over the course of this run. I kind of forgot that I had Curse of the Tower. It's been that long since I've been hit. Ah, shit. You want fire, baby? Got him. A scalpel. <laughs> Look at my face. It's hilarious. We have three luck. Um, luck effect a chance to fire tears that inflict enemies with drowsy. Okay, that's good. Maybe conjoined? Yeah, conjoined. Life. Very nice. Um, oh, that's a lot of fire too. The question is, do I take this? Quite a big fire rate down. I don't think I need to. I'm gonna take it anyways and just see. That's a very big fire rate down. This may have been a mistake. I'm not gonna use the teleport because I actually wanna go through rooms here because we've got quite a good chance of getting chests. I don't know, actually with with um with our worm this is pretty good. Oh, I really love the way that Conjoined looks with Brainworm. Okay, this is pretty damn good. <laughs> a fire is bad, but, like, the laser itself is wrecking things. Look at that. Look how cool that is. Oh, my goodness. Just the coolest fucking thing. Can you, like, stop doing your whole animation stick? Like, no one cares. Just die. Dude. This guy's been doing his animation for like 16 years. You could have been dead so long ago. Did anyone ask for you to have such a flamboyant animation? Also, there seems to be just puffs of fire everywhere originating from... This, it must be a, um, to do with my uh, Jacob's Ladder. Scatter bombs is fine for just extra bombs for the boss, I guess. Bunch of frozen fellas. 
that could be interesting. I don't actually know if it does anything for us, but I'd like to see more brimstones come out of us. The amount of fires we shoot now is obscene too. I love it. It's such a cool run. Not as laggy as you would have thought as well. Not exactly perfect. Oh, dude, come on now. That was a bit of a dick move. This was awful. Oh, God, that room was so bad. <laughs> I lost so much health there. Oh, Cracked it Infamy actually saved me there. Thank you. I think I got hurt by that green creep that I never saw. Dude, Justice, could you not go, like, right in the path of that? Thank you. A little bit scared from Mega Satan, I'll be honest, with this much HP. It's a lot less than I was hoping to go into the fight with. And so far we've got exactly zero items that really help us with the fight. In fact, the scatter bombs is probably going to make it even worse. Okay, actually, Spider Bite is really good. I'll be excited about Spider Bite, I promise. Still though, no, no good active. No good active at all. This is so crazy. See eyesores pop off then? More chests, please. Kind of an interesting idea for a room here. I don't think we can get more chests at this point. The Hypno Ring's doing pretty well as well. It keeps putting everything to sleep. More HP is very nice. Ooh, this guy, lovely boss, but goddamn, he could be hard right now. No, we got him, we got him. Basically, you just gotta kill him before he starts doing his difficult attacks. If he, if he gets to the point where he starts doing his difficult attacks, you're in for a bad, bad one. Okay, okay. Sadly, not, not many more chests coming our way. Hey, there you go. Fruity Plum! I do not diss against Fruity Plum. Haven't been able to sneeze on anything in a while. There you go, I got one. Oh my god, the amount of lasers. Please get to the point where you can take damage. There you go. Oh, I tried to sneeze on him. It didn't fucking work. God damn it. I don't think we actually need to, to be honest. I think I'm looking into this too much. The amount of cat heads we have is unreal. This is like one of the coolest shooting patterns I think I've ever had. Whoa, what the fuck is that? That's a new attack. Buckle Leviathan. Right, it is time. Error walk. Do your thang. Do your thang. Error walk. Do your thang. I'm just going to quickly try and shortcut through here with a secret room if it's at all plausible. Damn you, game. Really hoping I could get a quick and easy shortcut back to the start there. Yeah, I'm kind of glad that I went through all of this. I think, honestly, just getting uh, eyesores and um, spider bite was worth it.
Where's our boss again? I don't remember. Down into the left here, I think. This this next room. Okay, yeah, good. Right. Let's do it. Let's do it to it. Arrow walk. Slow the entire fight down. Give give us a huge speed boost as well. Oh, also, didn't think it would, but apparently sensor double slows. I wouldn't have expected that. I should kill both the hands, which is certainly a positive. Yeah, you see what I mean by like all the goddamn uh, the shots staying on screen too long? Holy shit, that guy died quick. It depends how many um, I saw shots we fired to like how fast things die by the looks of it. Sometimes they just get annihilated. There's mini bombs everywhere. Lucky Penny. I guess that's something. Yeah, get back on screen, you. Unfortunately, as, as cool as the molten uh, slag thing is, the fires don't actually deal that much damage. But they're cool as hell, so I don't really care. You apply status effects as well, so that's also very, very nice. Yeah. <laughs> Whoa! I've never seen him do that before. Like, I know he can do one makes you larger, but that was insane. Was that, like, due to me putting him to sleep at the same time he used it, so it extended the period of time that that animation carried on for? Or was that just because that's how big he gets, and I've never seen that before? I feel like that was definitely some shenanigans. The dude didn't even get a chance to spawn. Everything's so slowed down. He basically can't do anything. Like, his spawning in animation is so slow. There you go. We've got you almost dead. Even his hand is incapable of getting near us. Because of the slowdown, I think, and then the putting to sleep as well seems to be contributing to that. Right, next phase. This is so cool. Oh, for, for fruity plum! Why? I was setting that up as a little trap, and you just shat on my plans there. Fruity Plum Y. That didn't really do anything for us. Okay. This is going to be bad. <laughs> There's going to be so much of this fire on screen that I don't know how easy it's going to be to dodge, but I'll certainly try. Oh, actually, because he, he himself has slowed down in his movement, a pattern came out in a very advantageous way. Oh, this is the one I was thinking would be bad. Literally just an entire wall of fire. It is dodgeable, though. Surprisingly. Wouldn't have expected it, but it is dodgeable. Bombs are actually really effective for us, because our lasers just push them right into him. There you go. Easily done, baby. Easily done. That guy has been bested bigly. Beautiful. Ooh, we do get a chance at the uh, the void as well. Why not? Why not? Unlocked Hell Games. Hell Games, they're okay. Not great unlocks. Straight to the secret room is very nice. <sighs> Unfortunately, it's a very bad secret room. Okay, I'm hoping for a lot more HP before we get to our boss here. Linger Bean, I guess. Soul Heart is nice.
You can hear the tool doing its thing. Oh, what the hell? Is that Chimera a boss, whatever his name is? What are you doing in here, sir? You're, you're actually kind of a rough boss, to be honest. You're taking quite a beating. Luckily, we bested you regardless. <laughs> Everything just died. Interesting room. Oh! I see what's going on here. Your evil is what's going on here. The laser's like good enough to do most of this, to be honest. Whoa, what are these things? These are enemies that I have not seen before. That one's split into two more of himself. I think it's just the champion there, that's why. Right, just keep moving. Again, I, I have incredibly bad luck with uh, finding bosses in this. Luckily, we found one already. Good. Mother Spine, not bad, not bad. I'm really hoping that one of these bosses drops as like a much better active. I'm not exactly sure what active I'd be looking for, but this active has just not been very useful towards us. I love the electricity. I am the tech wizard. That's good. I like that. That's very useful. We've literally just unlocked that as well. Like earlier this run <laughs> from defeating a uh, push and boss rush. Got damn goose. There was no poop there. Come on, bosses. Where you at? There's one. Constant noise of fire and electricity is uh, kind of grating, but <laughs> it's kind of just inside my brain and will never leave, I don't think. What on earth is this? Oh, I did not see you up there, good sir. Oh my, we can store a charge. That'll be useful. That extension card, at least. That would be very good right now, actually. Although, there ain't no way I'm dropping brain worms, so you can forget it. Does this just give us the horse? Because I'd actually accept that. I don't think it does, though, does it? It doesn't, sadly. I would have accepted it, to be honest, because the uh, the horse would have been flight, a speed up, and an active that I could actually use for damage. So, a little bit sad to not get that there. Give us that small rock, baby. Did that hit me? For fuck's sake, bombs. There's going to be a ton of bombs in that room now. No, okay. God damn it. Just got the health back that I lost. And yet again, another lovely dead end. I'm so bad at finding the Delirium boss. We'll get there eventually, I suppose. I guess we're in no rush. Oh my god. Like, when you, like, focus the laser on an enemy, there's just, like, a constant, like, fire looming above them at all times. I had a golden poop there for about one mi microsecond. The tool is making some crazy noises right now. It's kind of going off.
How is this another dead end? Come on. Just silly how many dead ends there are for me. Guess that's something. Get another one. Oh, I keep pushing forward. Yeah, another dead end. It just it just never ends. There's just dead end after dead end after dead end. You're like, oh, this will definitely be a boss this time. No, it's not a boss. It's never a boss. It ain't ever a goddamn boss. Look, just every single which way here. All dead ends. How? How did I do all these rooms and all of them are dead ends? This is a dead end too, I bet. Yeah. It's just like, come on. Like, why are the bosses so split apart and disjointed? Why was the non over at this side? Truly offended. Right, come on. Come on. Do not like fighting this boss. Luckily, I don't have to, really. <laughs> Got a very long death animation again. Die to the fire, please. Holy shit, this thing's got a lot of health. What the hell is this? My goodness, fat sir. Calm your passions. It's crazy. There's only two more paths to go. Please don't let me go down that other one. If I find it last again, I'm going to be very annoyed. This, could, this has to be it, right? This has to be it. Soul Heart. It's not it! What the hell? Right. Better give me a good item. Yeah, that's pretty good, actually. I need a tears up. Another eternal heart there, that's pretty useful. A bunch of goddamn enemies in here, what the hell? And what I signed up for. Runs like this just kind of make you tired though, it's like, come on, just... Just, just you, like, it's one of those runs where it's like, it's literally inevitable that I win. So please just, just, just hurry the fuck up with giving me the boss. You're just wasting my time and yours now. Like, you know I'm gonna win, so... This fucking better be it. I knew I was gonna get hit there. It finally is it. Good. Right, this is going to be probably a pretty slow fight, but I don't think that difficult of a fight because everything's slowed down. Don't have error walk this time around. I'm going to wait until he gets into his base form before I use Soul of Azazel. I don't even know if Soul of Azazel will do that much more damage than I'm actually doing right now. We'll have to see. Good telefrag. Well done. Okay, this is actually going a lot slower than I thought it would. Also, there is bomb tears slowly looming towards me. Yep. 
I was like, one of them's gonna explode on me, isn't it? This is actually going a lot, lot slower than I was hoping. Because I can't, I can't get in there and get a sneeze on him, so my damage is like half. Yeah, just, just too many tears to sneeze. Damn it, did I sneeze on him? Yes, I did. Wait, no. Is that him? I'm really confused. There's another boss in the room, apparently. Okay, I think I'm good. I think I'm good. So confusing. <laughs> There's so many tears lingering at this point. Why hasn't he gone into his base form yet? Kind of rude. So many tears on the screen. Can't really hit him with bombs at this point. Whew! This is a stressful on this. Good old Mr. Fred. Oh, shit! And you as well. Some of these bosses really aren't that bad, but there's a few others that have been real gooses. Yeah, like I said, I thought this was going to be slow, and it most certainly was. As it is still. I mean, it, his health just keeps going down and down and down, but it feels like it's not moving at all. Right, finally, get some real damage on him. Come on, you're so low, dude. There you go, good. That worked out, nice one. I knew Soul of Azazel would help us eventually. I mean, it's lasting forever. Well, here we go. Finally, it is all put away and done. I hope you guys did enjoy this one. And yeah, I'll see you guys in the next one.